Hello and welcome to How to Film Weddings. My name is Nick Miller and today I want to talk to you about hotkeys in Adobe Premiere Pro. Specifically about custom hotkeys to make your editing more efficient. We all want to save time. We all want to be faster editors. And these are a few tricks that I have picked up along the way that have really helped me speed up my editing process. So the first thing that I want to share with you is that um, there are a few hotkeys that I don't mess with at all. Number one is the V key, which is a selection tool. The other one is the C key, which is the razor tool. Um, tidbit, if you hold shift after you push the C key, you can cut everything on your timeline. That's kind of a neat one. And then another one uh, that I really like is the D key, which selects everything that the playhead is on as long as it is in these you know, highlighted blue uh, area. So those are some hotkeys that I really don't mess with at all. So to make a custom keyboard, what you're gonna do is come over here to keyboard shortcuts, and then this window will pop up. Um, it will probably be your Adobe Premiere Pro default settings. So what you're gonna wanna do is come down here to custom. Now don't go changing the default one, because if you change that and then you mess some stuff up, then you're not gonna have a way to go back to how things were. So make sure you go to this custom uh, area. Now, the first thing, the first one that I do, I should say this, the purpose in creating these hotkeys is to make it so that my left hand does not have to leave the keyboard. Um, this, the, my thumb is on the space bar to play my playhead, and so I want to keep my left hand uh, there in that spot on the left side of the keyboard and not move it very much at all. So the first thing that I want to do is the uh, delete function, so uh, I just want to get rid of a clip. Now, uh, whenever you highlight it here, if you click just to the right of it and you hit the X, that's the button I want it, want it to be. Now, you will note that it says that X is used by another thing, and so whenever you do this and save it, then that will change um, your clip. So you just hit OK, and then whenever you uh, select your clip and then hit X, and then it's gone. Okay, so uh, the X key is now the delete. So we come back up here to our keyboard shortcuts. Okay, the other one that is the ripple delete. Um, now, uh, ripple is a fantastic thing. You, um, it, it's a fantastic effect where you um, just you know highlight an area, push it, and then it deletes everything together. But you have to push a few buttons to do that. So I, keeping my left hand on that row, want it to be Z. So whenever that happens, now the zoom tool will not be used for that. I never use the zoom tool. I don't know if I ever have. So, okay. So here I am in a new project file. I realized I didn't explain what the ripple delete key was very well in my first tutorial. So if you're just using the normal delete key, you select your footage and then you would hit X to delete it. But you notice that there is a little gap there and maybe you don't want that. So I'm gonna hit Apple key Z to bring it back. You select D to select your footage and then push the Z key. And if you notice, everything just shifts to the left. I'll show you again. D and then the Z key with ripple delete and everything just shifts to the left. This is really helpful if you don't want any gaps in your footage while you're editing. Uh, sometimes this is helpful, sometimes it's not. I like to use it every now and then, so I think it's good to have a hotkey. And now we're gonna go back to the original tutorial. The next one that I want to do so now this one is delete. This was the ripple delete. Um, the A key is another one that I like to keep there. If I hit A and then I just click, then everything from this side or to the right of it stays. So uh, that's another one that I will actually keep the same as well. The next one is the um, what I do with the S key. So I do a lot of speed, uh, speed ramping and slow motion and that kind of stuff, but I don't like to interpolate my footage. I know a lot of people, if you shoot it in 60, you go in and you make it all so it's all slow motion. So when you drop it in your timeline and then maybe you speed it up to 250, if that's your, your workflow, that's fine. This, this thing will also work for you, but I don't like doing that. Um, I will say, I, so I want the speed, because it's S, to be on the S key, but I do use the snap from time to time. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the snap and I'm going to change that from the S to option, option S on my Mac, and then get rid of the just S. 
okay? So option S, and if you hold option, then you can see on there what it does. So now uh, I want to do speed and duration. I want to add that, and now that's my S key. Before, if you wanted to do a speed and duration, if something was, you know, you know, you would click on your clip, you'd have to control click, then go to speed and duration, and then pop it up, okay? Now, I just use my D key to select it, S, and now speed and duration automatically pops up. Um, I think that that is wonderful, wonderful. Uh, the next one that I wanna touch base on, again, I leave the D key, the F key, um, I want to be able to select stuff with D and then unselect it with F. So I change the F key to deselect everything. Uh, just to me, uh, select with D, unselect it with F. Uh, makes sense to me and how my workflow and how I do things. What I, another one that I like to do is that I use often, very often, is the nest. Because I don't interpolate my footage and I want to um, use warp stabilizer on my clip, I can't use it unless it's nested if speed and duration and uh, warp stabilizer don't work well together. So I click here on nest, and then that one is going to be the E key, the E key for me. So now I'm able to come in here, select my clip, speed ramp, I apply it, okay, and then I hit E, and now um, I can just hit return or okay, and now my layer is nested. Okay, so the last step that you're gonna wanna do is you go in here, and now that your custom one is how you want it, save as, name it whatever you wanna name it, and then set okay, and set okay, and remember you have the default settings if you ever need to go back and look at those. So there you go, the hotkey settings that I use on my keyboard to help me edit faster and more efficiently. So do you use hotkeys? Do you use custom hotkeys? What have you set up? Let us know in the comments below some stuff that you have found very helpful in your editing efficiency. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Please share it with some other people that will also find it helpful. We really appreciate you watching. If you haven't checked out our podcast, we have a weekly podcast, the How to Film Weddings podcast. You can listen to it on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, wherever podcasts are listened to. Again, thank you for checking out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And until next time, see ya.